So guys, in my continuing pursuit to always be looking for the next series to do on my channel, and I'm not sure how many I'll be able to do, but or of this series, but today I'm deciding to relook at something that's a little old, kind of old, and it's the one stick fire kind of principle. But I thought instead of just doing a one stick fire the boring old way, doing it with some belt knife like this that we all know can do a one stick fire, you know, there's nothing really special about doing a one stick fire with a knife like that. I mean, unless you're a beginner, then it's nice, but. Uh, what I wanted to do was kind of do an ultimate challenge where I take a whole bunch of different bushcrafting gear such as axes, maybe even saws, uh, tomahawks, just a whole bunch of different types of tools that we use as bushcrafters, even some, maybe getting into some exotic things like draw knives and uh, hook knives to just see if you can do a one stick fire with them. I'm not sure how entertaining this is going to be, but it seemed like a really fun and kind of funny idea for me. So uh, so today we're going to be doing a one stick fire with an axe. And for the axe in question here, this is my good old GBA Scandi Forest axe. So this is a good boy sized axe and we're going to be doing a one stick fire with it. Now I will note the one exception to this one stick fire rule will be the striking of the ferro rod. And that is because I know some of you guys may want me to damage this cutting edge striking a ferro rod. I'm not going to do that. You guys can't persuade me enough because I bought this thing with my own money. I'm not going to just go destroy the edge just for entertainment value. So what I did was I took my Mora Eldris and uh, I used that to strike the ferro rod to start the fire. And so... That is the only exception to the one stick fire. Everything else though was absolutely done with this ax, including, including the uh, feather sticks. Everything to going into the one stick fire was done by this, except the striking of the ferro rod. That's the only part that was done by the Mora Eldress. So just that quick disclaimer. And before we roll into this use footage, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm not gonna have any end scene here. So please do not forget to take the time right now to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And without any further ado, now let's roll this.
Thank you.